This is Chloe, and today, in my 15th crochet along, we will be making a fuzzy cat ball. For this tutorial, you will need some thin yarn. I'm using this Naco Calico yarn. Some line eyelash yarn, I think it's called. This is the fun fur yarn. A yarn needle, a size F, 3.75 millimeter crochet hook, and scissors. So let's get started. To start off, take your crochet hook and this, the, your thin yarn. This can be any color, so can the fur yarn be. Well, look, so can the fur yarn. So take the end of your yarn and make an X on your finger with the yarn. Grab the end, put your crochet hook into the first loop, then pull through the second loop. And if there are any threads, make sure you get all of them onto the hook. Then yarn over and pull through. And then chain one. Now we're going to do six single crochets into the magic circle. Three, four, five, and six. Now we're going to Slip stitch to the first single crochet we made. To do that, go into the stitch, yarn over, and pull through that stitch, and then go through the second stitch as well. Now, pull onto this end. If you cannot, it's because you did not get all of the threads whenever you're making the magic circle with the X that you did not get all the threads onto your crochet hook. So you'll have to restart if you did not do that. So then chain one. And now we're going to do two single crochets into each stitch. So since we are going to be using this for yarn, we need to go into the back loops only. To do that, we're going to go into the back loop of the first stitch right here. Then yarn over and pull through, and basically just make a single crochet. Then go into that same stitch same loop and make another single crochet. Now we have made an increase and um, by doing that we did two single crochets into the same stitch. So go into the next back loop, make a single crochet, and make another single crochet and now we have two single crochets into that same stitch. So repeat this all the way around and then I will show you how to do the next row. And then once you got to the end, once, once you are at the end of the row, it should look something like this. And then slip stitch to the first stitch into both of the, um, both of the loops. So slip stitch to that, and then chain one. Now we're going to do one single crochet into the next back loop, just one. And then go into the next back loop, and then we're going to make two single crochets. One and two. So one single crochet in the first 
back loop and then two into the next like that repeat this all the way around by the way at the end of row two um you should have 12 stitches by the end of this row you should have 18. you should always end off with end the row off with two single crochets into the back loop so now slip stitch to the first stitch um we're at the end of each row whenever we slip stitch we're actually going to slip stitch to the back loop only so that we have um, whenever we use the fur yarn that we can still continue in a spiral to put the fur around it so now chain one and then we're going to do, do one single crochet into the next two stitches well two back loops and then two single crochets into the third back loop So one single crochet in the next two back loops. And then two single crochets into the next back loop. Repeat this all the way around. At the end of the row, we're going to slip stitch to the first stitch. And then chain one. So now you should have, let's see, 12, 24 stitches. So now we're going to do one single crochet in the next three stitches, I mean back loops. And then do two single crochets in the next back loop. So that's one single crochet in the next three back loops. And then two single crochets into the next back loop. Repeat this all the way around. Now we're going to slip stitch to the first stitch and then chain one. Now it should look something like this. So now I'm going to, well, you can make this bigger or smaller um, by just increasing the amount of one single crochet in the next however many back loops but I'm going to stop here and then start doing the single crochet rows so we're going to do one single crochet into each stitch well back loop I'm used to staying, saying stitch not back loop so just one single crochet into each back loop all the way around. You should ha you should have um thirty stitches all the way around at the beginning of this single crochet row. Now we're going to slip stitch to the first stitch. Well, back loop. We'll stitch, but we're going into the back loop of the first stitch. And then chain one. Now I will continue doing these this single crochet row, and then I will tell you how many single crochet rows I do, so that you can do the same 
amount. In total, I have done three single crochet rows for the one single crochet in each back loop. So do three, two more row, two more rows of the same row I just showed you, and then you'll be ready to start again. So chain one after you slip stitched, and now we're going to actually stuff this, so I'm going to get some stuffing. I forgot to put the stuffing in the um, materials list. So actually we're going to pull up the loop and then we're going to stuff this so that it isn't just flat. And also since we're decreasing, we don't want to not be able to stuff this at all. That's good enough for now. So take the loop and then So now we're going to do one single crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, and three. And then we're going to do a decrease. So to do a decrease, go into the first stitch, well back loop, yarn over and pull through, go into the next back loop, yarn over and pull through, then yarn over and pull through all three loops. So go into the next three, do one single crochet, into the next three back loops. And then a decrease in the next two back loops. Well, you know, let's just take this stuffing out for now. It's not even gonna stay in. So we're going to stuff this once we decrease it a little bit more. So the pattern is one single crochet in the next three back loops, then do a decrease. Repeat this all the way around. You should end off with a decrease at the end of the row. So now slip stitch to the first stitch, slash back loop, and then chain one. So now we're going to do one single crochet in the next two back loops, and two, and then a decrease in the next back loop. So that's one single crochet in the next two back loops. And then a decrease in the next two back loops. Repeat this all the way around. Now we're going to slip stitch to the first stitch. Knock the chain. And then we're going to pull the loop. Now we're going to stuff. So take your stuffing. And then stuff the ball. Like this. And then we're going to continue. Stop. 
So chain one. And then do one single crochet in the next back loop. And then a decrease in the next two back loops. So that's a one single crochet in the next back loop. And then two, I mean, and then one decrease in the next two back loops. Repeat this all the way around. Next, slip stitch to the first stitch. Or back loop. <laughs> and then chain one. Now we're just going to do one decrease in the next two stitches. And then basically just do um, a decrease until you get um, to the end of the row. So you should have six decreases at the end of the row. Three. Four. Five. And last one, six. And then slip stitch to the first stitch. It doesn't matter if you do in the back loop or not. Oops. But you do have to do it, still do it in the back loop whenever you're doing the decreases. Well, the decreases in the back loops whenever you're doing the decreases. So now pull up the loop. And then take your scissors and then cut the end. Now take the loop and then pull the end into the loop and then just pull. Now we are going to take our yarn needle and then put the end of the yarn, thread the end of the yarn through the yarn needle. And then we're going to go into each V or stitch like this so that we can close it up. Going back and forth. inside to outside. Like so. Almost to the end. And then, once you get to the end, just pull it tight, and then it'll close up. Now we have our ball shape. So, actually we're going to, um, before you take the needle off of your um, end, we're going to go into the middle of the hole and then come out the other side. And then cut it. 
And now we have our ball shape. Now we're going we are going to take our furry yarn and then go to the beginning of the ball. We'll locate the beginning of the ball. And then go into the first line that you see from the um, front loop of the first stitch. Might be a little hard. Doesn't have to be exactly that, just around there. And then take your yarn, then pull it through, then make a knot, you don't have to do this but I just wanted to use this yarn, it looks pretty interesting. So then go into that same loop, and then yarn over and pull through, then chain one. Now we're going into the next little loop. Then yarning over, pulling through, and then basically just making a single crochet. Go into the next loop, then make a single crochet. And then into the next loop. And basically just make single crochets into each of the loops. Maybe kind of hard to do. Because it's already in a ball shape and <clears throat> and you're trying to get into each loop. So just do single crochets into each loop all the way up to the end of our ball, and then you'll be finished. Once you've finished crocheting into each of the um, loops, then cut your yarn off, then take the loop, then pull the end through the loop like this. And then take your yarn needle and then thread the end through it. Then just go into the um, ball like this. Then cut it. And now you are finished. This is what your finished product can look like. For more tutorials, please subscribe and also please check out my Etsy shop. Thanks for watching. Bye!